20 people don't have a place to call home tonight after their apartment building caught fire in Davenport. It started just before 1.30 this morning at the Eagles Crest Apartments off Locust Street. Davenport's fire chief says it started outside the three-story building. By the time firefighters arrived, flames were already coming from the roof. Local force Ashley Richmond joins us live from Davenport. Ashley, how are people who live there dealing with the aftermath? Tiffany, Jim, people are definitely still shaken up tonight. They say they cannot believe how quickly this fire spread. Now, it actually started on the other side of this building, but the heat from the fire was so intense that it actually blew out the windows over here, too. Now, there's still burnt siding and debris all over the ground. People here say now picking up the pieces and moving forward is the hard part. The wife made did puzzles, and that was a puzzle she did. Pictures in the front yard, clothes in the bushes, and an apartment half burned to the ground. Ed Ryder says the last 24 hours of his life have been a blur. I heard somebody banging on the windows and not really knowing what was going on, we ran to the door and by that time there was a police officer there that said, the building's on fire, you need to get out. This building of the Eagles Crest Complex started on fire while everyone was still sleeping just before 1.30 in the morning. Because the fire started on the outside of the building, the alarms and sprinklers didn't start going off until the flames had already spread inside. Some people had to actually be rescued from their apartment balconies because the black smoke in the hallways was too thick to see through. Most helpless feeling I've ever had in my life because you don't know what's going to happen next. About 20 people were inside when the fire started. Two were taken to the hospital with injuries. Davenport Fire Chief Lynn Washburn says they were treated and have already been released. Whenever we have this many residents impacted, it's a, a great challenge for us to ensure that everyone is safe. That is the primary concern is life safety and getting those people out of the building. Chief Washburn says the building is a total loss with hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage to the apartments and the things inside. We're starting all over. Been married 27 years and it's like we're newlyweds. We don't have anything. Right now, all I can do is, is try to stay optimistic, try to be upbeat about it. We got out with the most important thing, our lives and our dog. Investigators, along with the fire marshal, are still working to figure out exactly what caused this fire. The Red Cross is helping out the people who lived in this building. Reporting live in Davenport, Ashley Richmond, Local 4 News. Ashley, thanks for that report. Investigators haven't decided